এই ভিডিওতে আমি চ্যাপ্টার ফোর হিট এর ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইনসাইড কোয়েশ্চেন আনসার সলভ করে দেব চ্যাপ্টারটি নেওয়া হয়েছে এনসিআরটি ক্লাস সেভেন সায়েন্স বুক থেকে আমরা কোয়েশ্চেন লিখে নি কোয়েশ্চেন নাম্বার ওয়ান রাইট দ্য রেঞ্জ অফ ক্লিনিক্যাল থার্মোমিটার আনসার দ্য রেঞ্জ অফ ক্লিনিক্যাল থার্মোমিটার ইস থার্টি ফাইভ ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস টু ফর্টি টু ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন নাম্বার টু write the range of laboratory thermometer answer রেঞ্জ অফ ল্যাবরেটারি থার্মোমিটার ইস মাইনাস টেন ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস টু হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড টেন ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন নাম্বার থ্রি হাউ ডাস দ্য ট্রান্সফার অফ হিট take place in water or air so answer ট্রান্সফার অফ হিট টেক প্লেস ইন ওয়াটার ওর এয়ার বাই দ্য প্রসেস অফ কনভেকশন Next question number 4. Why do we wear woolen clothes during winter?
answer. The wool trap air in it, which is a poor conductor. of heat and hence it keeps us warm in winter. So we wear Woolen clothes during winter. Next question number five. What are the various methods of transfer of heat? Answer. The various method of transfer of heat are number one conduction, number two convection. Number three, radiation. Next, question number six. Name the scales used to measure body temperature of humans. Answer. The scales used to measure body temperature of humans are Celsius and Fahrenheit Next question number seven. Which physical state of matter expands the most 
on heating. Answer. Cash expands most on heating. Next question number eight. Define conductor. Answer. Substance <clears throat> that readily conducts heat is called conductor. Of heat. Question number nine. Define insulator. Answer. Substance which cannot conduct heat is known as. Insulator is known as insulator. Next question. Question number 10. What type? of clothes should we wear in the summer answer we should Wear. We should wear light colored cotton clothes during summer. Next question. Number eleven. What type of clothes should we wear in the winter? Answer. 
we should wear dark colored linen clothes during winter next question number 8 12 Define land breeze. Answer. Land breeze. is the movement of cool air from the land towards the sea in coastal areas during night question number 13 what is sea breeze answer sea breeze is the movement of air from the sea towards the land in coastal areas during daytime question number 14 what is clinical thermometer a thermometer specifically designed for the measurement of the temperature of human body is called a clinical thermometer
consists of a long narrow glass tube it has a bulb at one end which contains market it reaches temperature from 35 degree centigrade to 45 degree centigrade next question what is laboratory thermometer A thermometer which is used to measure the temperature of objects in laboratory is called a laboratory thermometer laboratory thermometer range is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius next question number sixteen right. precautions to be taken while reading a clinical thermometer A 
answer. The precautions are as follows. Number one, do not hold the thermometer by the bulb. Number two, read the thermometer keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight. Number three, ensure that before use the mercury level is below thirty five degree. Celsius. Next question. Question number 17. Can a clinical thermometer be used to measure the temperature of boiling water. Answer From Rakhijani clinical thermometer range uh, 35 to 42 degree centigrade she range in the boiling water rashtana. Boiling water range 100 degree Celsius. So, we will mark the answer. So, answer to the No, a clinical thermometer cannot be used to measure. temperature of boiling water because the temperature of Boiling water is more than the range of clinical thermometer. If we try to measure the temperature of 
of boiling water by clinical thermometer it will break down next question question number 18 explain how the temperature of water can be measured by using a laboratory thermometer answer the method is as follows number 1 take water in a beaker number 2 dip the laboratory thermometer in the water so that its bulb gets completely immersed in it but make sure the bulb does not touch the bottom of the beaker number 3 hold the thermometer vertically next point consider the movement of the thread of mercury number 5 after it becomes static notice the reading next question 
number 19 why the level of mercury rises when its bulb comes in contact with a hot object answer mercury expands when it is heated hence it rises in the capillary tube next question while constructing a house in coastal area in which direction the windows preferably face and why answer the windows preferably face towards the sea as sea breeze will keep the house in in day time next question what is temperature answer a reliable measure of the hotness of an object is called its temperature it is measured by a device called 
thermometer. Question number 22. What are the precautions of what are the precautions to be observed while reading a clinical thermometer answer some precautions one must follow while reading a clinical thermometer are number one it should be washed before and after use preferably with an antiseptic solution number 2 it should be read keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight number 3 it should be ensured that the mercury level is below thirty five degree centigrade before use. Number four the thermometer should not be held by the bulb while reading. Next question. Question number 23. What do you mean by 
by transfer of heat. flow of heat from one object to another is called transfer of heat heat always flows from a hotter body to a colder one What is radiation? Answer Radiation is the process of transfer of heat from a warmer region to a colder region without any medium between the two. So, chapter 4, heat is the most important inside question answer. Thank you.